when somebody hurts you or abuses you, there is a pain within and there is a scar that takes place and it won't go away. And somebody said like this, if you're having these suppressed feelings, these suppressed feelings will have consequences. Medical science have clearly proved that the, most of the ailments like ulcer are the ailments that are related to stomach. They are caused by these kinds of suppressed feelings. So forgiveness is a necessary thing for two reasons. Number one, for your health, mental health, and the other one is for your physical health. But I know forgiving is not that easy. It's very difficult to forgive somebody who deceived us. In such situations, what can we do? For you to understand this, I want to bring to you a story from the Bible which clearly explains how and when we can forgive others. One day Peter comes to Jesus and says, Jesus, how many times I should forgive my brother? Is it seven times? And then Jesus gives an answer 77, seven times. In fact, it's a Jewish way of saying so many times or innumerable times. After saying that, to explain his point, Jesus Christ gave a parable, a story. And then that story, there was a king and that king gave $10,000 to a servant and he's supposed to pay back. But this servant was not able to pay back. So he was pleading the king, Lord, please help me. And the king somehow has forgiven him and he said, okay, get away. And this servant, as he was working out, who got cleared of his $10,000, he came across his friend to him, to whom he gave just $100. And then he says, you must pay me my $100. And when he was not able to pay, he takes him to the court and somehow forces him to pay the $100. When Jesus was giving this story, what he was trying to say is this, I have forgiven you from a bigger debts. So if you are able to experience that, you can easily forgive people who committed small mistakes. So my friends, forgiving others is possible when you experience the bigger forgiveness from God himself. Probably you are not able to forgive others because you haven't experienced that forgiveness from Jesus Christ. If that's your situation, why don't you come to Jesus Christ? The Bible says, if you confess your sins, I am just and faithful, I will forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Because Jesus has done that, we can do it in a smaller realm with our friends. If you are finding that difficulty, come to Jesus Christ. He will forgive you and he will help you to be uh, to forgive others. I'll give you one great example. Jesus Christ, when he was dying on the cross, he made this statement, Father, they do not know what they are doing. Please forgive them. Now that forgiveness, Stephen experienced. Stephen who was in Acts chapter 6, he was put to a lot, a lot of trouble. He was martyred. He was stoned to death. When people were stoning him to death, at that moment, he prayed like this, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. He experienced forgiveness from Jesus Christ. That is why he was able to express that forgiveness. It is my wish, it is our prayer that you should experience forgiveness from Jesus Christ and you must be able to forgive others.